Ever since I decided to follow Stefan Lassard, the bass player of Dave Matthews Band over a year ago, and my husband Brandon decided to start following his 80s metal hair band icons, our musical differences have kind of put a strain on our marriage to say the least. As a matter of fact, I think these musical differences are going to end up destroying our marriage. What is that? What is that noise? That sounds terrible. What is going on down here? Oh. What in the world? I don't know what's happening. What are you doing? I'm practicing. For what? For when I'm up on stage in front of 10,000 screaming chicks. What are you talking about? Actually, you got a can. I, I told Chris Cornell I'd send him a demo. Just, just keep recording, cause I got. I, I told him I'd send him one real quick. All right. Whatever. You suck. That sounds awful. That, that's really terrible. Oh, thanks. And what is with that wig, anyway? I'm getting ready to go to a concert. Oh, a Dave Matthews Band concert? No, Dangerous Toys. Ugh, whatever. Not only has my lack of success in meeting Stefan Lassard led to problems in my marriage, but it's also driven me towards some sort of emotional, physical, mental, financial, and professional bottom. I decided to go ahead and to seek the help of a psychiatrist. Hi, Holly. What seems to be bothering you? It's... Excuse me, I need a moment. Stefan Lassard the bass player of Dave Matthews Band. I've been following him, trying to follow him, trying to meet him for almost a year, and after almost a year of trying, he just isn't paying any attention to me. I'm just really, really depressed, and, and I don't see the point, I don't see the point in living anymore. Hmm. Have you ever tried tweeting him on Twitter? Yes, I've sent him 597,263 tweets, and he hasn't responded. He responds to all the time to other fans. I just, I just, I don't know why he hates me so much. Well, I have, have you considered the possibility that you're placing too much importance on this young man? He's not a god, he's, he's just a person. I've devoted my entire life to meeting him. To winning his approval. Have you gone to a Dave Matthews concert band before and tried to meet him in person? Well, yeah, but we were in nosebleed seats and I don't think he could see me. There's no way he could have seen me. Some of the other fans, he just loves them and he hugs them and kisses them and, and, and gives them autographs all the time. And it, it just eats me up inside. I just don't know how much longer I can go on living without him. I'm so jealous and worthless and empty, completely empty without him. How does your husband Brandon, right, feel about all this? I think he's okay with it. Have you ever considered quitting your job at Hooters and becoming a practicing veterinarian again? I think you would find more purpose and satisfaction in the veterinary profession, profession and forget about Stefan. I just don't think I can handle the time commitment of being a veterinarian again while still pursuing Stefan. 
but I have the feeling Hooters is going to fire me soon anyway because I'm too fat and old. Well, that's just the point. Maybe you, if you'd engage in more challenging and satisfying work, you, you would, you would for, forget about Stefan. You just don't understand. Another suggestion, you should try being more cheerful and positive. No one likes a sour puss. <laughs> Perhaps coming across as a happier, more <laughs> loving person would help us attract, attract Stefan to you. What do you mean? I'm the happiest, most positive person I know. This is a waste of my time and money. And you call yourself a psychiatrist? Whatever. Thank you, Holly. See you next week. Same time, please.